What is up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today in the shop we have my widebody FRS and my STI. These cars have two things in common that have pissed me off since the day I bought these cars. And it is window trim and like mirror trim and all the black plastic trim on a car that gets faded over time. So check out the window trim on this car. See how faded that is? It's pretty bad. The little mirror mount things are disgusting. These window trim pieces, they're better, but they're still pretty dang bad. On the FRS, this thing's not terrible. All these window trims are in pretty good shape, but this down here is pretty nasty as well. I've always tried to fix that in the past with like random rub on products. It's almost like a, what would you call it? Like a cream, I guess. I think the main one I've used is called Back to Black. I forget who it's made by. It always works until you wash the car and then it always washes off with the car. So every time I go to a car show with like the FRS, when it actually looks good and not right now, um, I have to apply that stuff. But the second I wash the car and it falls off, it's just super, super annoying. But I do think I have found a solution that is going to fix this problem completely and 100%. I found this product online and they say it lasts up to, I think it was 200 washes. Let's go ahead, open it up and I'm sure it's going to stay on there exactly what the product is and how to use it. So they actually offer two different kits. They have a satin kit. You know what's actually funny? I used to always call that Satan. And my brother Cameron would be like, bro, what the hell is wrong with you? That was a random fun fact. And then they have a gloss kit as well. So a Satan kit <laughs> and a gloss kit. I think on these cars, I want to do gloss. Just because the cars are both gloss black, I feel like the satin kit would go better on like maybe a white car or something else so yeah it says right here Cerakote trim coat easy to apply ceramic coating everything is ceramic coating these days it's crazy the whole body on the sti is ceramic coated but it didn't really work on the trim protect and restore trim for 200 washes or more so the fact that this last 200 washes or more was a dead selling point a straight up selling point for me i don't even think i've ever owned a car and washed it 200 times in my life so if this lasts the whole life of a car while i own it and i'm pretty sure it's like 30 dollars for a kit that is so well worth it, in my opinion, at least. I'll have this stuff linked down below. And you know what also is pretty dope about this stuff? This is manufactured by a company, NIC Industries. That is where I get all my powder coating powders from, from Prismatic Powders, which is made by NIC uh, Industries. So they do the, the powder coating side and they do the Cerakote side as well. I do have the exhaust manifold or the header on my Evo ceramic coated. And that stuff is absolutely amazing. All their powders are freaking top notch. So I have no doubt, no doubt in my mind that this stuff is gonna do exactly what it says to do. So every one of these kits includes two sets of gloves and then 10 of these little bags, I guess you'd call them. Do not apply Cerakote trim coat in direct sunlight. Trim must be cool to the touch before applying. Application instructions. Number one, wash and dry sur surface thoroughly using a non-wax containing detergent. Must be applied to a completely dry surface. Open and close all doors, make sure there's no water on them, blah, blah, blah. Four, wearing protected gloves, open one pack, and wipe trim surface using the pre-wet wipe and overlapping passes to ensure full coverage. Rotate the wipe as needed, ensuring you use all the surfaces of the wipe. Move to a new pack when wipe complete comes, uh, I can't even talk. When wipe becomes completely dry after application allow a minimum of 30 minutes before driving or exposing to moisture so this right here is one of the main areas on this sti that is completely disgusting grab a set of gloves throw them on you don't want to get this crap on your hands i don't know if it's safe to get on paint either it didn't really say to mask off paint so i'm gonna guess it'll be fine all right so i've been door opened up a little bit i'm just gonna open this thing up there's a little tear right here tear it open pull out the wipe and we're simply Jesus, that thing's loud. And we're simply just gonna wipe this right on. Oh my gosh. Right onto the trim. They ain't lying when they say that stuff is gloss. Holy crap. Okay, this is a completely different feeling than applying like the back to black stuff. This is like, I feel like this is kind of gnarly stuff and it might actually work. It does kind of stink though, guys, I ain't gonna lie. It does have a pretty gnarly smell to it. All right, guys, that is all finished up. It does look a little bit blotchy, but I think once you let it sit on there for a while, it'll kind of like soak in, I'm guessing. I don't know, I guess we'll see. So I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and then I'll pick this video back up. So it's been like 35, 40 minutes. 
guys just like touching the plastic it actually feels like plastic again not some brittle crap that the second you touch it it'll crack i'm very blown away with how good this stuff actually works i'm so surprised because everything in the past that i've tried never never seems to work so once again here is an after let me brighten that up so what it looks like there's a before <laughs> that is freaking incredible i'm gonna grab some water there's some done dish up in here too i'm gonna spray it on that mirror cap thing and see if i can just wipe this crap off because if it can then it's kind of pointless grab a towel okay this stuff is freaking nuts wow it's like brand new again there's still some water on it but i guess really the best way to explain kind of what i'm experiencing right now this is definitely more of a coating i would say this is 100 percent a coating everything else i've tried in the past would i would consider like a dressing a dressing you know it falls off like tire dressing for example you put it on there it only lasts so long until it falls off whatever a coating the coating is like powder coating you know you, you coat the part and it stays on there for like a lifetime. I know this isn't a lifetime, but that's the best example I can get. If you guys want to try some of this stuff, it's, I'll have a link down in the description box below. It's so freaking amazing. I'm gonna go hit the rest of this car and then the very last thing I'm gonna do is that front trim right under the windshield. It's so bad. So I think this right here is gonna be a really, really good example just cause it's a big flat piece and we can apply it to half of the half of the panel and actually get a side-by-side -side comparison of the difference that this trim coat makes. Let's give it a shot. Okay, well, <laughs> the underside of this is kind of wet and I just went over it. You're not supposed to do that, but oh well. I have a few more of these. This girl's really not that faded at all. It's not bad, but. It's getting a lot better, so. Wow, that is a freaking game changer. Seriously, guys, if you have worked on cars, which I'm pretty sure every dude on this channel or watching this video, not dude, anybody, dude or chick, that is watching this video right now, guarantee all you guys have worked on cars. That is like one of the biggest problems I've ever noticed is this trim dressing stuff that never really works. This is a game changer though. You're going to flip a car or you're going to buy a car, flip it, you know, make some money on it and you apply some of this stuff on the trim, it's probably gonna raise the value like a few hundred dollars. I'm not even joking. This is one of the biggest problems I've never, ever seen. And this right here just changed my freaking life forever. So the whole STI is completely done, except for that little comparison thing we were doing down there. Oh man, this stuff is a game changer. Here's how it looks, guys. You saw that before. I don't need to show you before. That's completely, completely different. That's incredible. The last thing I'm gonna do before I close out this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do this FRS trim right here. And you know what? I know this grill is brand new, but if I can make it look better than new with some trim coat, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see what happens. So even on a brand new part, this grill has never seen one second of sunlight. It is bringing quite a bit of shine out of it, which is nice. I missed a little part right there. Um, the, my main goal with this grill is just protecting it from the sun when I do go drive this car. So that is absolutely crazy, guys. Well, boys, that is a wrap for today's shenanigans. I have no, no question whatsoever whether this product is actually gonna last 200 washes. And the reason for that is because they actually have a money back guarantee. If you buy the product and, and it doesn't actually last, as long as they say it's gonna last, they actually refund you your whole purchase amount, which is super nice. Obviously, if it didn't last 200 washes, they wouldn't make that guarantee. You guys know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have it linked down in the description box below. Go pick some up. STI is fully coated. The FRS is pretty much all done as well. If you guys have any comments or questions regarding this product, drop them down in the comment section below. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Stericoat.com, it is called the Trim Coat. First link in the description box below. Peace out, I'll see you in the next video.